Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. The uncertainty caused by the Israel-Hamas conflict continues. Will the war widen to other parts of West Asia? What will be the consequences? Will it impact global economic growth? These are questions for which there are no clear answers now. The main factor that spooked the markets on Monday was the sharp spike in U.S. bond yields. After 16 years, the U.S. 10-year bond yield rose above 5 percentage, impacting equity markets. The market thinks that uh, interest rates will remain higher for longer. Yesterday, the U.S. bond yields have declined to below 5 percentage, below 4.9 percentage. This has helped equity markets to rebound a bit. It is important to understand an important trend in the market now. Mid and small caps are hugely underperforming the large caps. On Monday, when Nifty corrected by 1.3 percentage, Nifty small cap index crashed by 3.9 percentage, three times more than the correction in Nifty. This happens when small and mid caps are overvalued compared to large caps. I had uh, warned about the possibility, about this possibility in my earlier audio messages. Even now, safety is in large caps. If we look at the Q2 results that have come so far, financials, particularly banks, have done exceedingly well. ICICI Bank's results is the best in class. ICICI stock is now attractively valued. In autos, Bajaj Auto's results are good. In FMCG, ITC and Nestle have done very well. The volatility index VIX is at the highest level since March this year. This indicates that the high volatility in the market will continue. This is the time to approach the market with the utmost caution. Safety is in large caps. Switching from mid and small caps to large caps would be a good investment strategy.